Hey guys, Dan here, and today I'm going to do an unboxing, assembly, and a quick little demo, but not necessarily a review yet, because if you know me, you know I like to use a piece of equipment for a little while in order to give a proper review, because I don't just want to say it's God's gift to mankind, but then I also don't want to trash it. So I want to be able to give it a fair shake and find out if there's something wrong, how can we defeat that and make it where it's not wrong, because everybody has different applications. So... Um, this is the TAC Life lawnmower, as you see right here. It's a 40 volt, uh, small walk behind mower, 20 inch. It weighs less than 40 pounds. And this is how it comes nice and boxed up for you. Now, the link to this lawnmower is in my video descriptions. And from there, you can shop around and see what else they have available when it comes to these type of tools. Uh, again, TAC Life right here. But I want to make a note that this is from the shipper, UPS did this, all right? And I wanted to show you guys that UPS did this. So when we open this up, if there's anything wrong with this lawnmower, I don't want you to blame Tac Life. It's not Tac Life's fault, all right? So the shipper ripped this up and who knows. He also dropped it at my front door and I got that on video camera. Kinda, kinda sucked. And he left it in the rain sticking out. So again, not the best job, UPS but not to hold tack life responsible. Uh, so let's go ahead and cut into this thing and see what we got. Now I did give this company permission to chop up my video and use it to their uh, liking. So if you see this video and you see me being used elsewhere, um, they do have my permission. So we got a bunch of clips here and looks like the battery and the battery charger is going to be in here and we'll just get all this out real quick and then we'll go ahead and reset and we'll assemble it so here's the charger obviously this is the grass catcher comes with what looks like about 1.5 bushel bag. Um, stop, go. Okay, cool. Got a little vent here to let the air out. Uh, here we go. Nice hard bottom, so it's not gonna rip on the ground. That's nice. And this looks like a carpet cleaner. <laughs> this actually looks like a carpet cleaner as it's sitting in here. Let me see if I could just grab it and pull it out. And it's really mostly assembled, but here you go. Not very heavy, because my noodle arms picked it right up. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> A handle. <laughs> I like it. I definitely like it. Uh, okay, so that's where the battery goes, obviously. Little thing here. Okay, I do apologize if some of my head is cut out of the picture. I'll try to get a little lower here, but I really want you guys focused in on the lawnmower and not this beautiful mug. Vogue. Strike a pose. Um... All right, so when we took it all out of the box, everything was, you know, boxed up. So this is your battery charger. I took it out of the box here. Now it does have lights on it uh, somewhere. Here you go. There's a little light right here. So it's going to give you some indications as to the status of your battery. All right, here's your battery. It's a pretty big lithium ion 40 volt battery. If you know anything about electric bicycles and stuff like that, you know that 24 volt is pretty weak. Not a lot of torque. <laughs> Sorry, I was about to say something else. Um, 36 volt, you're starting to get some pretty good torque. Uh, 48 volts, you got a lot of torque. You got an electric bike that'll take you 30 miles an hour uh, and a lot of pull, a lot of torque to get you going. So this is a 40 volt lithium ion battery. So in my experience from electric bicycles and stuff like that, 40 volts is a pretty good sized battery. Um, and it's um, the amp hours is 144 uh, watt hours. So it's also a pretty large battery, um, as you can see. Most of the weight of this machine is the battery, all right? And so this is the charger. Very simple. You're just gonna plug it in. 
once you have everything connected, you're just going to plug it in, charge it up, and then you got your lights right here to tell you the status. Right now it's showing that we have a little charge on there. Um, we can go over that when we do the actual review. I can show you guys what I think of this and uh, the actual mower. Right now we're just doing the unboxing, the assembly, and then a quick little demo. So that's how you install your battery right there. And then when you're done, you just take it and you're going to put it in the machine. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Super simple. Let's get that out of the way. Also, it comes with this little orange thing. And right inside of here is a little slot that's actually the key. And you would take this and you would just plug that in right there. And that's going to be your key. Without this, no power. With this, completes the circuit and then you have power. So since it doesn't have a pull cord and stuff like that, uh, a child can take this in your garage and squeeze the lever and start spinning it while their sibling is laying underneath it. You know what I'm saying? So um, as you see, it's ready to go, blades there and everything. So you really, you need this key to be removed if you have children uh, that you don't want to get hurt, but I don't. Um, sometimes it's fun. I'm kidding. All right, so we'll put that in here so I don't lose it. All right, and then the battery goes in there, and I'll show you that in a second. It also comes with another little handle, and you're like, what's this for? I already have a handle. Look at that. I already have a handle right here. This little handle goes on your bag right here. And this stuff, I tell you what, look at this mower is pretty... It, everything about this mower right now is very impressive. Uh, so you got this little handle, you're just gonna put this here and there, and now you have a handle to grab your bag. How nice is that? Uh, I like it. Uh, and then there's also a little thing up here, it says Tack Life real nice. And um, there's a little door here, and it's gonna tell you, uh, let me get closer. It's gonna tell you when your bag is full because if this is open, and blowing, blowing out, as you can see, see how it's got the grates in there? So if this is open and you see debris, a little bit of debris coming out, that means air is flowing and the grass hasn't gotten to the top. But once your grass or leaves or something gets to the top here and the air can't come out, this flap is gonna fall. That means your bag is full and it says stop. So open, keep going, stop, bag's full. That's pretty cool, you don't have to kick it while you're walking. So, so there's the bag, the bag's all set. I mean, that's pretty easy. Got a second little handle right here too, so you can shake it out into your garbage can. Now, it also comes with these two little things here. Here's one, and here's two. Super simple, once again. Uh, you got this handle, so let's get this kind of out of the way here. That's your, that's your final handle. We'll just slide that there. And you got this. Now, if you want to fold your, your mower up and make it fit someplace small, you can do that real easy. There's just two screws right here. And sorry if it's a little dark, um, you just kind of screw these down. And then when you bring this up, it's going to kind of lock it in and then you squeeze it. And that's a little bit too tight, so let's loosen it up a little bit. There you go. And then do the same on this side. You don't want it to be too tight that you break the thing, but you want it to be tight enough that it stays. And there you go. So now you got this. So now if you want to fold your handle, you pop this out and you pop that out. And then you just pop this and pull it and you can fold your handle. No tools required. I like that. That's kind of nice. Especially, like I said, if you got like a, a townhouse or something and you're trying to, uh, save space but just do your own little work then you can so you got this part done now once again nothing to fear it's a pretty tough little mower all right and now that you have that part done now you're going to just put this on right here and obviously it's just going to go here and then depending on your height you have three mount bolts right here one two three and one two three and so you can set this bar right here to the height you know, if you're six foot, maybe put it here. And if you're five foot, maybe put it here. And if you're somewhere in the middle, put it in the middle. 
I'll put it in the middle for demonstration purposes. Um, but you just got this here and it's the same principle. Once you get it tight, you just snap it down and then you can fold it again. And then if you got somebody to help you out, have somebody help you out because this could get a little bit uh, tricky with, with your hand motion, you know, with holding it on and stuff. But you're just going to stick this through this one and right into this one. Line it up. Too easy. There we go. I got it. Further tighten it if you want. Now me, I'm not going to leave this sticking up like that. I'm going to want this to be like that just because I don't want it catching on any bushes or anything like that as I go by. So there we go, there's one. And then, see you have it like this. And I was doing it like that, so the bolt was already out, but you want it to be actually out like that, as far out as possible so it grabs. Just stick it in, slide it through, and then you put this on. And you put this on. sure it's tight and then tight so now you have yourself one assembled mower and right here is going to be your on off it's going to power it on and it's going to turn it off so once the battery is connected it should be good to go now let me spin this thing around and show you something that you guys want to know. How do you adjust the height? Right here. One lever. And it did all four. So you could probably take some pressure off if you want. But there's one all the way down. And there's six. At six, the cut height is About three and a half. Yep, about three and a half at six. And at one, the cut height is <laughs> about one. So you're going to want to be probably around five for about a three inch cut. Let me see. That's about a three inch cut uh, right about there on level five. All right, so the only thing left to do now is put the battery in and see if the blade spins. But before I do that, let me check underneath because I haven't actually looked. Make sure there's nothing to stop the blade. Nope, it is ready to go. Looks like it's a 18 inch. Maybe. Let's try not to destroy anything. 15 and a half inch blade. So it's a 15 and a half inch blade and you got one little bolt right here that you can take off. Uh, looks like it's about a, probably a 12, 13 millimeter, uh, close to a 9 16 And uh, you take this blade off and sharpen it. It's got little wings here. Here's your little opening here for the grass to go through, um, you know, when you're bagging. And yeah, there you go. Let's put that battery in and see what this thing sounds like. Let's hear all that horsepower. Battery don't have a full charge, but what the heck. It is not self-propelled. So you're on your own when it comes to that. There you go. Keys installed. <laughs> okay, I see. There's a little button. All right. Uh, now, it also comes with this little piece right here to help hold your cable so it's not all cattywampus and it comes with one already on here. So you can go ahead and just slide your cable in here. And then there's a little spot. There should be a hole up here somewhere. Right there. There it is. That you can pop this on. Sorry. Sorry. Delays, delays, delays. That way your, your cable's not getting caught on things. And that's that. This is one assembled mower. Uh, attaching the bag. Let's get this out of the way. 
don't need that. I mean, I didn't even lose the, uh, use the instructions. It's this, I mean, it's really that basic and that simple to put together. You also have a sight glass here and you've got a window here so you can see um, into your bag and while you're mowing, you can see if it's working. But there you go, guys. There's your 40 volt lithium ion tack light. Now I can't lift it one handed now because my wrist isn't strong. Enough. Well, maybe this one is. <laughs> no, it's not. Because um, the handle in the bag. But I mean, just, just with the battery and everything, I mean, too easy, huh? And then with everything installed, you can look how quick you can do this. That's pretty amazing. Uh, that's pretty wild. To fire it up, there is, see that little orange push button right there? Right here? You push that button and you squeeze the orange lever. And so let's hear it. And then you hold it. And that, my friends, is the unboxing, assembly, and very quick demo of the TacLife 40 volt lithium ion lawnmower. Come back for part two, and we're going to put this thing to the test.